Afternoon boys and girls, uh, welcome along to our assembly. We'll be starting in about five minutes. But we're just making sure that the sound's working. So if you could just comment on your screen, just let me know that the sound is working. Superb, looks like everybody can hear me. We're just going to give it a few more minutes, boys and girls, and then we'll get started with our assembly. Two minutes in counting. So we're starting in just a minute, boys and girls. We've got 47 people currently sitting there waiting for assembly. And another nine or 10 children sat in the hall waiting. Okay, boys and girls, I think we're just about ready to get started. So, and uh, I hope you appreciate the new screens and how hard we've been working here. So, ready in three, two, one. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon to everybody. So, good afternoon, boys and girls, and uh, good afternoon to our parents who are at home. 
so this afternoon's assembly, I'm sat in my office. Uh, so I'm at school today, um, working in school, uh, along with Mrs. Gart, Mrs. Herring, and Mrs. Brown, and some of the children that are in school today. So good afternoon to everybody out there. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you as you give us a shout out on your screen. So I'm going to go through some of those just now. So um, let's see. Afternoon to Sydney Strawbridge. Hi to Olivia and Abigail. Uh, hi to Max Joukowsky. Hi to Amelia and Jess Mariano. Um, hi to Maya and Cody. Miss Lumley's tuned in. Um, hi to Ella. Uh, it's Ella McSorley. Hi to Finley Frizzell. And hello to um, Martha and Mabel. And I can also see that Miss Hoogworth is here as well. And good afternoon to Patty and Oliver, along with um, Oliver as well. So good afternoon to everybody. Let's get cracking with our assembly this afternoon. So you're back to school uh, and we're back to um, uh, doing a little bit of work, hopefully at home. So you've had your pack through. And I know that the teachers and some of the adults have been uh, ringing you this week to make sure that you're all right. So I'm hoping that you're getting back into to some of that work. Um, and I know it's a little bit tricky trying to do that at home uh, when you're not here with us in school. Um, but hopefully you find those, some of those things are interesting and having some fun with it. But let's get started with some of our special mentions. So uh, first off, I'm going to jump in to uh, Meerkats. Uh, so good afternoon to all our Meerkats uh, who are sat at home. And this is from Mr. McConaughey. Uh, so Mr. McConaughey says a huge hello. Uh, he's really impressed with all the home learning um, that's been going on. Um, he's really impressed specifically with Emmy and her phonics. Uh, Theo being a problem solver with his jigsaws and creative flowers. Hayden for becoming more confident on a bike ride. And Madison for learning to ride her bikes with um, her bike without stabilizers. Uh, to Ted, Madison and Emmy. Theo and Mabel for taking on Mr McConaughey's challenges. Lockie for being creative and making a fairy garden with her sister. And sorry, Lock, uh, Lockie, yeah, sorry, Josh carrying out a science investigation. Uh, with his brother as well. So lots of people really busy in Mr. McConaughey's meerkat. So well done to all the meerkats working really hard. And um, let's have a look at what uh, zebras have been doing. So I'm going through um, trying to find zebras in my messages. So we go to Mrs. Ogden and Mrs. Ogden sent me a really long message through. So first off she says can i have a special mention for the charlesworth family so finley and Brody in the holidays have spent a full week looking at space they've been busy with mum and dad doing lots of exciting activities uh, including looking at the solar system and the different planets uh, making the solar system using balloons shared lots of stories and looked at a virtual space through a projector in their homemade space room at home then they made an amazing rocket and spacesuits to explore their adventures. So well done to Finley and Brody and Mum and Dad as well. Um, we've seen lots of pictures coming through with you in your spacesuits. Um, Mrs Ogden would also like to mention Faith uh, and her dad. They've also been very Chloe creative making a rocket. They've had lots of details including all the controls inside. And Mum said they are now working for NASA. Wow, so for this space agency in America. And um, Twitter shout outs too. Well done to Bobby. He's been really busy this last week baking, creating um, and uh, sorry, baking and then creating his own magical garden, planting. Um, and he's also been very rich with learning to ride his bike all by himself. So amazing work to Bob's there. Uh, Mason, we've seen that you've got your first tooth. I know you lost it, unfortunately. I think Mason swallowed his tooth, and I'm going to come back to him a little bit later on. Uh, but I think uh, the, your parents left a special letter for the tooth fairy to make sure that they could, uh, she could find you. Elliot and Isabella, your tie dyeing looks amazing. You both look very proud of yourselves, and you show you should be. And finally, can she give a shout out, Mrs. Ogden says, to all the children who are spending their time creating some fantastic Chloe Creative Rocks. This is a fantastic idea and it's bringing joy to the community. I know a few children in my class have tweeted out the rocks that they've found and have been very excited about them. So well done to Zebras. I'm going to go to Miss Cheeseman's class next, and this is Crocodiles. And Miss Cheeseman says, um, good afternoon, Crocs. Yet another fab week of learning this week. Me and Mrs. Oldfield got to give you all a call to see how you were doing. So I just want to give you a special mention as you're all doing amazing during this uncertain time. It was amazing to hear all the wonderful things you've been doing. Also a special mention to our parents 
as they continue to do a brilliant job. Keep up the great work. Keep tweeting and keep safe. Speak soon. And that's from Miss Cheeseman and uh, Mrs. Oldfield there. So uh, you should be really, really proud of yourselves there. Let's see who else is at home and currently watching. So uh, Mr. Crosby says... Hi to all his children in Puma class. He's at home at the moment, working from home, and he's watching there. Uh, hi to Bella Smith. Um, let's see who else is on here. Um, oh, I'm going to come back to what Mrs. Gray says in just a second. She's got a bit of a shout out to somebody special. Um, hello to Oliver Morton. Hi to um, Emily Martin that's at home. Uh, hi to Sajani. Um, and Mrs. Durkin is also watching at home. So afternoon to Mrs. Durkin, who's also watching us. And hello to Brody and Madison Mills um, and Emily Martin saying hello to everybody. So uh, before I go on to any more sort of special mentions, what I want to do is just share a couple of special things. So we've got some people uh, that are celebrating their birthdays at home at the moment. And it must be a really difficult time um enjoying your birthday when you can't really go out anywhere but a special happy seventh birthday to rosie higgins so happy birthday to rosie and i also have seen a message coming from evie's mom uh, and it's evie's uh, evie brooks birthday in three days time so happy birthday um for three days time so um hope you get time to enjoy it and hope you don't find something fun to do although it's a bit tricky at the moment isn't it because you probably can't go out and about as much as you would like Afternoon to, um, let's see, um, Marta uh, and Antonina. Hello to Antonina. Antonina's uh, come back, look, over from the dark side from um, her secondary school. Um, and hi to the Smith girls uh, that are also out there. Um, and Mrs. Gray uh, is also watching, I think I mentioned already. And hello to Lucy Boys. Um, so I want to say um, a big hello to our children that are in school at the moment. So I'm sat in my office. And at the other end of school, in the school hall, we've got some children whose parents are critical workers. So they're busy at the moment and uh, trying to help fight this horrible disease and look after people. Uh, but they're sat in the school hall uh, with Mrs. Gatt, Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Herring watching assembly. So afternoon to you, you boys and girls. And I saw you a little bit earlier on, uh, but I've been working down at the other end of the school all afternoon. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move on to some more of our mentions. So uh, let's go to uh, kangaroo class. So let me find the message from Mrs. Milner. So Mrs. Milner says, uh, afternoon to her class. I hope you're looking after yourselves and keeping safe. Uh, please, Mr. Richardson, can you mention Oliver Clark in your assembly today, please? He's been sending me some amazing writing and pictures. And I know, um, Oliver, that you're watching at home because I saw your dad pop up earlier on on the screen. So well done to you, Oliver. Keep that up and keep that work coming in. And well done, also to the rest of kangaroos. Let's go to Puma class. And I know Mr. Crosby is currently working from home and he's already uh, given us a, a little mention there on screen. But Mr. Uh, Crosby has sent me a message and he says, special mention this afternoon for Rafe Garside. He's been producing some fantastic practice work in his home learning and it was presented so neatly. He's obviously been practicing at home, so keep that up. And also hello to all the Pumas Miss you heaps and hope you're keeping safe. Any amazing work you've been doing, email it across to me. I'm so interested to see what you've been doing at home. Uh, and that's from Mr. Crosby. Um, and, and finally, just before we have a look at some other bits from home, I'm just going to go to Miss Hoogworth's class. And she sent me a message earlier on. And she says, so mentions for this week. Hello, leopards. I hope you enjoyed your Easter holidays and are continuing to be richly resilient during these strange times. I would like to give mentions to these children this week. Uh, Charlie Ray for his Chloe creativity with all of his learning at home, where he's created a car in his bedroom and has completed some marvellous painting. Maya John for her easy independence when researching all things space and galaxies. She's used her ICT skills to start her project, which is fantastic. Proud of all the leopards this week. Keep being positive. Missing you all and hope you are well. And that's from Miss Hoogworth. Um, so hello to Lily Calvert that's at home with mum today. Um, so Lily's saying hello to everybody else out there. Hi to Bella Smith. Um, hello to Alex and Ollie Jubb. And who else we've got in here? Uh, Daisy Higgins saying hello to everybody. Hello to Lucy, uh, sorry, Lewis and Ollie. So good afternoon to everybody that is home uh, this afternoon. Now, 
I did mention I wanted to share some things from home, so I'm going to do that in just a sec. Uh, but I had a message from Mrs. Gray earlier in the week, and she wants to give a special mention out as well. So Mrs. Gray says, could I give a special mention to Ruby Laycock in Crocodile Class? She remembered uh, the ingredients for the smoothie that we designed in school and made it home for her family to try. Um, so she sent that very special mention to, um, to Ruby there. So well done to Ruby. Hello to Charlotte Marsh, who's also washing at home uh, this afternoon. So let's have a look at some of the pictures that you've been sending. Now, you've been doing some amazing work at home, and I'm trying to keep up with all those pictures. I'm really sorry if I've not got everybody's pictures that you sent in. What I've tried to do is choose a selection, and also what I've tried to do is make sure that um, everybody can get a mention as far as possible. So let's start off with this amazing one. I hope you appreciate my tech skills here. Um, but here we've got a, a beautiful piece of work, and this is from Maya John. So Maya John was mentioned earlier on for her fantastic work on space. Here's Jacob Buxton, busy working on his writing. Uh, he's been doing some work with Jane Constantine on, um, online. So well done to Jacob. Daisy and Rosie have been busy at home um, doing some maths work and also all sorts of bits and pieces, some great creativity and work at home. So well done to Daisy and Rosie. Indy and Cohen have also been busy at home. Um, doing all sorts of pieces of work. So well done to those children there. Sophia and Eva have been busy at home doing lots of creative work, busy reading at the moment, but you can see Sophia and Eva here. It's um, dress up Friday apparently in their house uh, and having some fun at home uh, with their reading. Hello to Reese and James that are watching at home today. So a big shout out to you. Lucy Boys has sent some amazing pictures in this week, but Lucy has been busy doing all sorts of things. She's been a little bit of baking, she's been doing some schoolwork, and she's been busy out in her garden. So well done to Lucy for the work that she's doing there. Bobby has been up to all sorts, absolutely all sorts this week. Uh, I've got a lovely video from his mum uh, when he was riding his bike. Unfortunately, I can't play the videos at the moment um, on YouTube, but well done to Bobby that's been working really hard at home and having lots of fun. Edie has been um, hatching her own caterpillars, and, and here she is releasing one of her butterflies. Ella McSall has been really, really busy. And again, I've seen, I've seen a lovely video from Ella uh, where she's been working at home. Uh, but here we have Ella being really creative and she's um, trying to create different shapes of letters using her body. So well done to Ella. I mentioned Mason earlier on. Now, Mason, um, he lost one of his teeth. So one of his baby teeth has fallen out. But unfortunately, he swallowed it. Um, but uh, so mum and dad had to write a special letter for the tooth fairy. Now, if your teeth fall out um, while we're in lockdown, boys and girls, you don't need to worry. I've been told um, that the tooth fairy is a critical worker. So uh, she can go out and about and make deliveries to your house. So you don't need to worry about that. So Mason there grimacing, I think, with his tooth missing. And Carter has been busy learning all about weather. Um, so here he's watching the weather forecast. He's been doing a little bit of geography work. So well done to Carter. Isabella and Elliot were mentioned a little bit earlier on for their tie-dye work. And here's Isabella and Elliot um, with their fantastic work that they've been doing at home. And Brodie and Finley, the Charlesworth family, have been doing all sorts of home um, on space. Uh, but here they are. Looks like they've been out on a bear hunt and looking for uh, Winnie the Pooh and friends. Ollie Lawrence has been busy at home. He's been doing lots and lots of work. And I know his brother's been busy as well. Olivia and Abigail have also been busy at home. Um, they've been growing all sorts of amazing things uh, and just getting those seeds set. So well done to Olivia and Abigail. And Lily Calvert has been busy on a scavenging hunt around her house. And I know she's, uh, the staff have been setting all sorts of challenges for you to do. Uh, but she's been busy on the scavenge hunt, finding all sorts of bits and pieces around the house there. Alfie Tidswell has been busy, enjoying the sun, uh, but also working hard. 
uh, and keeping up to date with the things that he's been doing and the work that's been set by school. So well done to Alfie. Orla has been busy painting a birdhouse and she's been busy along with her brother Elliot who's also been busy painting his, his um, birdhouses there and we saw some beautiful final finished pictures uh, of these pieces of work. So well done to these children. Callum and Lily May, hard at it, but I've seen some great pictures of the Stevensons. Um, busy at home, but also having fun in the sun. Well done to Mabel Griffiths. Mabel's been working really hard at home, um, so well done. Hello to Mrs Hargreaves, who just popped up on screen there. Uh, she's loving watching the assembly at home this afternoon. But well done to Mabel, working really hard there. So well done to Mabel Griffiths. Freddie G. Well done to Freddie G, who's also been working at hard and um, doing some amazing work. Um, and I've seen lots of pieces that have been coming through from your mum and dad. So well done to Freddie G. And Summer. Summer's been busy. Not only has she been dancing, she's doing her stretches during the Easter holidays, but here she is on Times Table Rock Stars. So well done to Summer. Max and Theo, seen loads of pictures of you from home and all the things you've been up to. Uh, but here they are, the lads baking together. So well done to Max and Theo. Patty has also been busy at home and looks like she's on time, Times Tables Rockstars here, competing for her class. And I know that was really, really close fought uh, game between Lions and Tigers. I think Tigers may have just picked it. And I know some of the classes have been involved in the Times Tables Rockstars games that Mrs. Hargrove has been setting for you. Um, Mr. Crosby just popped up on screen there. He says, awesome Summer. He sounds like he's very proud of you with your Times Tables rock stars. So well done to Summer there from Mr. Crosby. Oliver's also been busy. He's not going to be outdone by his sister. He's been busy working at home. Uh, did some amazing work. So well done to Oliver. And Reese in year six. Nice to see our year six is popping up. Um, so well done to Reese. He's done an amazing cross stick poem here uh, based around the word coronavirus. So well done there. Hello to Thomas, Harry and George uh, standing for at home. See you just popped up from the screen there. So good afternoon to you. And here we have the Smith girls. I know the Scorthorpe girls uh, teams collectively have been busy fundraising for the NHS, um, doing all sorts of activities. Um, so we've got the, the Smith girls here busy at home. So well done to you. And Shayla and Jane have also been really, really busy. And I know, Shayla, you've written a lovely letter. I think it was to your grandma, actually. Um, but well done to Shayla and Jane that have also been busy uh, being creative, doing some collage work. So they went collecting some leaves and then they've been doing some collage work. So well done. Afternoon to Macy. Now, I think Macy might still be in school. Um, Macy Jurgens, uh, she's been in school today as her mummy is busy uh, working and uh, helping all the other critical workers. Um, but Macy here, really, really busy working at home when she's not been at school. And we finally got, we've got Martha Griffith here. Martha has been busy um, cleaning, I think that's, um, it might be mum's car that, uh, the mummy or daddy's car. And you can see Martha and Mabel. I've got to say, Martha, you know that I know your daddy very, very well. Uh, that's Mr. Griffiths, boys and girls. So some of you may remember Mr. Griffiths when he's been working in school before. And I've got to say, Martha, um, I've never seen your daddy work as hard as that. And it'd be lovely to see your dad working as hard as that, because I never saw that when he was working in school. So well done to Martha and Mabel. They've been busy cleaning the cars at home. Brody, Brody Mills has been busy um, at home doing some maths work, but also keeping on track of everything else that he's been following. So well done to Brody. Max Jukowski has been busy doing some reading. And Max, when I saw that wallpaper on the wall of your mum's and dad's house there, um, he almost sent me dizzy. So well done to Max, who's been busy uh, doing some reading at home. Well done to Lewis, who's also been busy um, reading, so keeping on that reading going. So well done to Lewis. Jack and Josh have also been busy at home um, following some activities. So well done to Jack and Josh. And Samson and Jesse have also been busy at home. Now, they've got some special new visitors at home. Uh, they've got some tadpoles that have been turned into frogs. They've been keeping an eye on those. Isabel Small has been busy. 
So I'm just looking at sc on the screen now. So Miss Hugo says, well done to Brody. Sounds like she's really, really impressed with you there. So well done uh, to Brody again from Miss Hugo. So well done to Isabel. And Isabel made her, these cards herself. So well done to Isabel Small. And again, jumping back to year six, Georgia. Uh, Georgia Shemold has been busy at home. And she produced some amazing artwork uh, a couple of weeks ago that we shared. And we shared this with Miss Smith as well. Because uh, she drew a beautiful shark for Miss Smith. Sharks are Miss Smith's favourite um, ever creature. Uh, and Georgia produced a great one of these. So Georgia was busy at home. And then we've got the Murdy clan. The Murdy clan have been busy uh, at home um, making some amazing things for their garden. So well done to all of you three there. So well done. And I wanted to share this with you. It, it was a video, but at the moment I can't get the videos to play, unfortunately. But this is Abigail and Amelia Mosley, if you couldn't tell. Um, it was, um, I think it was Abigail's birthday um, last week. And uh, they had a bit of a dance-off. So they've got glow sticks on here. Uh, and they, mum and dad switched the lights off and then they had a dance-off with the glow sticks on. Uh, so amazing performance. If you've not seen it, jump onto Twitter and go and have a look at that. I'm going to challenge Miss Smith to see if she can do this and see if she can also do a dance with glow sticks. But I know I have it on good authority from Abigail and Amelia Mosley that their daddy is extremely good at doing this. And apparently he's ordered some extra glow sticks. So I'm looking for Mr. Mosley and his amazing dance to come through on Twitter, hopefully in the next few days. So there's my challenge to Abigail and Amelia. You've got to get your dad dancing. Uh, and then I have some lovely pictures in, and I'm going to zoom in these in a sec just so you can see them. Um, but Mrs. Laycock uh, sent me through these, so uh, Ruby's mom. So let me just zoom in so you can see these. Um, so we'll read along the message. So, so it's been four weeks since we've seen all your faces. But we still think... That you're just ace. We miss you. And that's just a lovely picture there. So thank you to those children and parents who have been busy producing that at home. That was lovely to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the rest of our special mentions. Um, so I'm going to try and get those back up on my phone and see if I can um, get to those classes. So let's go to... Um, Jaguar class, so Miss Lumley's children. So we'll go to Miss Lumley's children first. So um, Mrs. Gray has been really impressed first off. She said, uh, great pictures, folks. Love to see everything you've been getting up to. So well done to those children. So Miss Lumley says, hello to all the Jaguars. Hope you're all well and have enjoyed your Easter holidays and have enjoyed the beautiful weather as much as I have. So first of all, I'd like to give a special mention to you all for your amazing work at home and I'm blown away by how resilient you've been in adapting to all these changes. A huge well done for winning uh, Time Tables Rockstars Battle of the Band and most importantly beating Miss Smith she says. Um, so well done to that class there. I know Miss Smith is going to be absolutely gutted. Um, I'm loving seeing everyone's creative activities on Twitter and email. Special mention to Miley for her lovely email. Riley for building his fantastic army den. Max with all his amazing science experiments, Amelia with her adding up darts, and Ava's beautiful rainbow artwork. Last but not least, a special mention to Martha, who's been a very busy bee, and she doesn't realise it yet, but when school reopens, she'll be washing all the teachers' cards. So thank you to Martha. Uh, so well done to all the children in Jaguar class. I'm going to go to Miss Smith's class next. So I'm just going to find uh, the message from Miss Smith. So, Miss Smith says to her Panthers, special mention for Ellie Reeves, who was working on her spellings yesterday in school. She was very rich resilient and working in a problem-solving way. I was very impressed as there were some very tricky spellings indeed. Also, a special mention for Macy Jurgens for amazing Pippa Problem Solver when playing phonics games. She really stretched herself and asked for help when she needed it. It was lovely to see. And Miss Smith says a special shout out to everybody in her class. Keep that work coming. She's loving seeing it. So well done to you, uh, boys and girls, in that class. We're going to go to Tiger class now. So I know Miss Hargreaves is watching at home at the moment, and she sent me a message earlier on. She said, I would like to give a mention to all of Tigers. It's been lovely speaking to some of them this week, and I really miss them all. 
Also a mention for Callum Stevenson. He sent me a beautiful poem that brought a tear to my eye. Thank you, she says. So well done um, to the Hall of Tigers. And last but not least, we're going to go to Lion Class. And Mrs. Gat, who's working in school today, has also sent me a message. And she says, can you mention Shayla for writing a lovely letter to her nan? It was lovely to see her literacy skills coming to good use and was so thoughtful. Also, Kajani for her COVID time capsule. What a great way to capture this time so you can remember it when you're an adult and share with your own children. So well done uh, to Kajani. Holly for her lovely pictures of her and Jessica working together. They look very happy. Great to see them both. And all the Lions, hope you're all doing well. I can't wait to see you all again soon. Stay safe, everyone. So some great mentions there uh, for all of our children. So Miss Hoogworth uh, has also mentioned um, that she was really impressed with some of the photographs. So some great work that's going off at home. Uh, Mr. Crosby says, awesome to see all the work and pictures. They, uh, he misses you all. And a big shout out to Mrs. Gray uh, and all the teachers from the Stanford Boys. So, boys and girls, we're nearing the end of assembly. Um, and I'm going to say goodbye to you in just a few minutes. Um, hopefully, um, you're still doing all right. We're looking forward to catching up with you next week. Some changes for next week, though. So from next week, um, your own teacher or the adult that works in your class will be ringing you. So instead of it being a different adult, it should be your own adult that will be ringing you. So hopefully you'll be looking forward to that. Now, if you've got brothers and sisters in other classes, it might mean that you might not get your uh, class teacher or your uh, normal adult ringing you, but those adults are going to ask whether you would like your teachers to ring you or your teaching assistant. So we're going to give that a go next week, uh, and that should be a little bit different for you. And then we've also got some ideas that will be coming out on Monday for how we can stay in touch. One of our ideas is for, for some of the classes, we're going to try and see if we can do a video conference with you and get you all together as a class. And I'm going to be writing to your mums and dads next week to see whether um, they will be happy for you to do that. So something a little bit different as we're all missing you very, very much. Uh, next week, there will be some more work that will be going on the website for you to have a look at and have a go if you've got some time. Um, mums and dads out there, I really don't want you to feel the pressure. I know it's really, really hard for you and you might be worrying uh, about your children when they come back to school. Don't worry. That's what I get paid to do uh, and to worry about. So don't worry about that for a second. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So we'll be setting some new work and what we'll do is we'll get that on our website over the weekend ready for Monday morning. And I'll tweet it out on the link and we'll also text you it out so you can get access to that. So. Just before I go, let me have a little flying through and just make sure that I've mentioned everybody that's been commenting on the stream as we've gone through. I think so, um, by the looks of it. I think I've mentioned everybody there. If I've not, I'm sorry. Hopefully you've had um, a good week. Um, next week, assembly will be at the same time. It'll be at 3 o'clock next week. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you appreciate my tech skills. I've been busy over the holidays learning new things on um, on YouTube and trying to put those things into place uh, and make the uh, December a little bit better than what it has been. So in the meantime, boys and girls, have a fantastic week. Enjoy the weather if you can. Remember to listen to your mums and dads or whoever looks after you to stay nice and safe. And I'm going to leave you now. Have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you later. All right. Bye bye for now.